Hey, what's happening, Wargamers? It's Leland here with Aegis Brand Studios, and we are continuing on with our Marvel Crisis Protocol uh, Spotlight, which is just taking a look at the various releases uh, from Atomic Mass Games on Marvel Crisis Protocol. Uh, last video you would have watched would have been uh, Rocket and uh, Groot. So continuing on with the theme of the Guardians of the Galaxy, we are going to have Drax and Ronan the Accuser. So uh, yeah, this is uh, this is kind of an interesting one. I don't I don't have a lot of personal attachment to the Guardians of the Galaxy uh, outside of the the movies. I you know read a couple of the comic books. It's just it's never been oh, sorry about that. It's never been one of the the big ones on my on my list to uh, to read. Uh, but I have to say I, I really liked the, uh, the their portrayals in the movies. So looking forward to taking a look at this one. Um, yeah, just just in general. I mean, I, I like I like that Drax or sorry Ronan sorry has that nice uh, uh, forward leaning uh, pose with the with his nice big old hammer and what actually it looks like the, almost like the uh, the power stone is in there. Um, so I'm really digging that look and uh, Drax, you know, just you know that come at me bro uh, look to him is just just a really nice look. So. And as usual, this is going to be a look at the models themselves, not a review of the rules. So if you're looking for something a little bit more in-depth on the rules of the models, this is not where you want to be. You're going to want to check out some other stuff there. That stuff might be coming down the road, but right now we are just having some fun taking a look at some, uh, some cool toys that we can assemble and paint and eventually get on the table. So there we go, we got our tokens as per usual, and you know, I've said it many times, I love the cardstock that they're using for it. We have our two cards right there, some solid artwork for both of them, on both sides, both of them looking uh, pretty solid there. Some great stuff, and uh, you know, it looks like I was right, it looks like the, the power gem does come with this one, so like, is there something on, on Ronin for this one? Yeah, so he is apparently a gem bearer. So my understanding of this is that in order to use the gems, he, he does need to be able to, or they do need to have that particular ability. So we got ourselves an infinity stone, uh, or infinity gem rather. And then of course we got some, uh, some more tactics cards. So not much to say about them. Uh, art's not as strong on these ones, I don't think, but you know, just in general, the art style has been, has been enjoyable for this game. All right, so as far as the models themselves go, by the way, something I've never really touched on, I really like these little odds and ends right here, the beer bottles, the coffee cups. One of these is totally getting the Tim Horns uh, coffee cup treatment. Um, so anyway, oh, we got another big base here for, for Ronan, it looks like. And my goodness, Ronan is going to be a breeze to assemble. Yeah, there is nothing difficult about Ronan, it looks like. Uh, and I just realized something, I don't see, uh, I must have missed the assembly instructions here. Yeah, there they are. So we do have the assembly instructions, and uh, let's let's see if they've actually put the numbers on. No. So once again, we don't have the, the numbers on the actual uh, on the actual pieces. Now, uh, thankfully with these ones, these are fairly straightforward, but with Groot, that was actually kind of a problem. A couple other ones as well. Some of the pieces uh, look very similar. Uh, but anyway, yeah, this one is looking very easy to put together. Um, that's about the only piece right there that, uh, oh, it looks like it's a shoulder pad, so that's been solved. Uh, so yeah, very easy. And you know what? Drax looks just as simple. All right, we are gonna get these assembled and take a look at them. And we have Drax the Destroyer and Ronan the Accuser all finished up. And these guys were a dream to put together. They weren't difficult at all. The pieces went together very nicely. Not really any real issues there, uh, which was just fantastic. Um, on Drax, I gotta say, I, I'm just gonna move Ronan out of the way here. Uh, one of the things I really like on Drax here, as soon as I can get him to focus. Focus. There we go. Uh, one of the things I really like on Drax is the uh, the indents or the grooves for uh, where the the different color on his skin tone goes. Uh, I really like that. It uh, little details like that I always really enjoy. Uh, in order, um, you know, just just to make the painting process a little bit simpler there. Um, so it's just a nice little touch. Otherwise, he, he's a very simple, straightforward model. 
Um, and, uh, you know, just, just to, uh, respect all of your intelligence, I, I purposely opted not to just throw an empty base down there and say, Hey, look, it, it's Drax. Uh, cause, cause we all know about his superpower about uh, going invisible, uh, when he's mastered the art of moving so slowly. Uh, so right now he, he's moving fast enough that we can see him. Uh, but anyway, yeah, the model itself, very simple, not much really to say about it. It went together really nicely. Uh, Ronin. Uh, also went together just so nicely, such a, a, an oddly beefy model. Um, you, you can see he's on the big base here, uh, but everything just went together so nicely on it. Uh, one of the weird things about uh, Marvel Crisis Protocol and Atomic Mass games is that they, they like sculpting the faces separate from a lot of other things. So that is one of the odd touches that uh, in order to get his face in there, you actually had to glue it into the hood. But it went together nicely. Uh, the legs were a little weird. It took me a second to kind of wrap my head around them. But once I did, it's like, oh, okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. Uh, the hammer, aside from uh, one uh, one cap of the hammer, was all a single piece on the arm, which I really liked. And just, yeah, really nice and simple. I mean, there, there's not a whole lot to, to say about these. Uh, what I will say, though, and I, I've mentioned in a couple of videos, I, I kind of harp on the idea that uh, some of the instructions don't have the the associated letters, part letters with them. Um, and I mean, for a veteran hobbyist, okay, we can usually make do make do with it. But let's be honest, with something like superheroes, there's going to be a lot of new players coming into the game. Having something like that would just go a long way. Um, these guys, thankfully, easy enough to do without it, but some, some of them have been trickier. Uh, but anyway, glad, really glad to have put these guys together. It took maybe about 10 minutes or so, so not too long at all. But anyway, there we go. We have uh, Drax and Ronin. So if you like what you saw, be sure to give the video a like and subscribe. And of course, you can always hunt me down on other social media at Aegis Brand Studios. And uh, yeah, we're going to continue on with this one. Uh, with the next video, we're going to be taking a look at Nebula and Gamora. So thank you very much for watching and happy wargaming.